All right, we're back at the uh, Hackfest death trap. They actually want us to uh, start up one of these units. This is a 410 condenser and it's got the 2003 R22 air handler in there. Just put uh, 16 pounds, almost 15 pounds of refrigerant in there. With the line set, looks like it's gonna take about 20, but we're gonna go ahead and kick it on. And then get in the rest of the refrigerant. Let's try putting it in, see if it's taking it. It's taking it. <laughs> now, I've never tried to start an R410 condenser on an old R22 air handler, so I don't know how wrong it'll be. I mean, it's, it, it's a metering device. It's still going to flow refrigerant. It's just not right. So who knows? It could be ballpark enough to actually blow cold air for all we know. All right, charge it up and see how it goes. Okay. Got our 20 pounds in there. It was the 13 pounds factory charge plus figure about 7 pounds for 100 feet extra half inch line set. The line set goes all the way down that way and then it goes up to an air handler it's above this up that way in there so about nine degrees sub cooling almost ten got enough refrigerant in there the latest superheat and the suction pressure I mean, it's like the TXV is not flooding enough refrigerant it is a long line set but suction should probably be a little bit higher so it's probably doing something I bet you if I go in there with the uh, infrared I'll probably read something testo infrared so it looks to be that one right there that's a long ways to uh Aim their infrared. It's like 70, low 70s in here. So, so what are we probably like 25 feet from that? So that would this whatever the ratio is. If it's a 10 to one, it would be like one foot at 10 foot and two feet at 20 feet. It's probably tighter than a 10 to one. These are probably pretty good, maybe like five to one or something. But it's still going to read over a foot. By the time I look up there, I'm sure. So if I'm reading that cool from that distance, it's probably about 60 degree air, so it actually is kind of cooling. But again, you know, it's only uh, the walls and stuff are like 70-ish or so, low 70s. Nine residential type air handlers with duck socks, instead of having just a couple big units. <laughs> so back out at the unit. 9.2 subcool. You look at this half, <laughs> pressures look pretty good. And then uh, suction though is dropped down to 80. So at the first part of that coil, that refrigerant's running about 20 degrees. And then out here at the unit 73 is a long run. 52 degrees superheat. I'd expect up to 30 with the line set length, but dang, that coil is frosty. Uh, entering refrigerant is frosty and then it's probably all boiled off by the time it gets to the common suction header. So, yep, there's what you get, I guess. I've never tried it. R410 condenser tied to an R22 air handler. Refrigerant pressures were a little buggy to say the least. So, what we did was confirm that did a pump down on the system went ahead and charged these three systems I don't know just because that's just the way they wrote it up to include all the refrigerant and just uh, left them turned off so our guys come back and change the air handlers which is happening real quick as soon as they get some uh, lifts or something into that room so good luck with that I shouldn't be here to see that oh, I'd be, although I'd be curious so anyway <laughs> the life of Hackfest <laughs>